Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com and today we're going to be doing the top 10 tweaks of the week. So let's kick this bad baby off. The first one we're looking at here is called Boxy 3. This is in beta right now, so if there are a few bugs in it, you may want to just be aware that it is beta. Uh, however, I've been using it for the past week and haven't had any issues at all with it. And I must say, this is one cool little tweak, guys. You see my, my springboard here now has all the empty slots are filled, and we've got all this awesome stuff that we can customize in here. If we go into our settings menu, you will see that you can go down to where it says boxy and right inside there, you will be able to turn it on and configure it however you want, however many icons you want to have on a page in a row, uh, the layout. Now, another cool thing about boxy guys, you can just swipe up on the screen anywhere and you get this little pop-up menu here and you can increase the padding and the vertical padding and the side, the inset, top. There's just so much you can do with this and it's a really cool little thing. You can see you can drag it around and close it. If you just swipe up on the screen anywhere, it pops up. So it works really nice. Doesn't matter where you are, just swipe up. Really cool little tweak, guys. Check it out. It's called Boxy 3 and it's in beta. And I'll have that repo for you in the description below. And the next one we're looking at here, guys, is called Bye Bye HUD. And this is definitely one that I am glad to see go. When you turn your volume up and down, you see you get this big, large thing in the center here. That's what Bye Bye HUD does. It gets rid of that for you. And all you have to do is go into the Bye Bye HUD section here, turn this on, and now you can choose from three different ones minimal bar or slider it says so we're going to go with the minimal one here up at the top and the bar one right there you see you get that little thing across your status bar uh, and then you get the slider one i think i'm going to go with the slider view that's the one i prefer bye bye hood and it is free the next one we're looking at guys is called color banners 2 the iOS 10 version, it's 99 cents, and it does just exactly what you think it would do there. If you look on the screen, you'll get an idea. You can change your banners to customize them to be any color you want them to be. That way you can set up a particular person with a certain color, or maybe your different you know, apps with different colors, however you want it to do. But it's very easy to customize. All you gotta do is go into your settings part here, just like all the others and we'll go into where it says color banners too and right here you see you got some different banners you can you can even customize them to be you know customizable colors i mean they, they're not just particular red white and blue or that whatever you can make them be mixed colors i guess you could say but uh, you just set it up respring and you can tap test if you want to see what they look like right here here's what the, all the different color ones i have set up so far Really nice little deal, guys. Very, very well worth the 99 cents. And Battery Plus. Now, this one here, not really a whole lot I can show you. This one here is supposed to increase your charge time and decrease the amount of times you need to charge. So, it makes your charge last longer and makes it charge faster when you do charge it. So, very cool little tweak and it's free. Check it out. CC Plus. This is another one for that control center that you've heard me bitch about so much. It customizes your control center. It, it even will customize your artwork, all different sorts of things. Let's see, read what it says here. Uh, it, it adds the custom blur, color tint, music artwork color tint. It hides the dots. It hides that white mask. It hides the overlay, the air uh, section. And it does, just does a whole host of things. So if we go into the control center here and go down to CC Plus, you see here I don't even have it turned on. So now what we could do, we could hide the mask if we wanted to. Uh, we could hide the dots and we could uh, hide, we don't want to hide the air stuff or the night stuff. Uh, then you would hit respring. And then when this bad boy comes back up, control center should be looking a whole hell of a lot better. And I'm going to tell you guys, I do enjoy 
There's one other uh, control center tweak I want to share with you while we're waiting for this to come up, and it's in the list today called Onion. Uh, be sure and check it out. It is free, and uh, just install it. There's no configuring to do or anything like that. That's probably why whenever we pull this up, I didn't see anything that needed to be done. But as you can see here, it has removed the dots. It's removed the, the white overlay. It just gives it a much cleaner look. And you can see here, I'm using the airplay section, so I would need that. And I also use the night, the dark mode section with the uh, actual uh, Eclipse and Noctus. So I need that. But, you know, it's a really cool tweak, guys. Check it out. I think you'll really enjoy, enjoy CC+. And the next one we're going to be talking about, guys, is called Vangra. Uh, I mispronounced it there a day or two ago, but I want to get it right today. You see, if you've ever wanted that split screen experience on your iPhone, all you have to do is install Vangra. And you swipe from any side, and it pulls up the previous app. And if you want to go with another application, you swipe down from the top, and look at those transitions. Oh my God, ain't that just awesome? I love this, guys. It's a really awesome little app switcher. Check it out. I think you're really going to like it. And since we're talking about app switchers, there's another one on the market here we're going to be talking about called 3D Switcher 2. And this is available for iOS 10. And, but anyway, 3D Switcher 2, guys, what it does, it adds some animation to your switcher. If you look down here at the bottom, look how the sort of comes at like an angle as I swipe through there. And you can customize that by going into your settings and going to 3D Switcher down here at the bottom. Uh, 3D Switcher right here. And as you can see, there's about, I think, seven different ones you can choose from or choose card deck. And I'm not sure if you have to actually... No, it doesn't require a respring either. And it changes those. Now we're looking at the card switcher version. Very awesome little tweak, guys. Definitely one worth checking out. That's the two app switchers for the day, uh, Vangra and then 3D Switcher 2, the iOS 10 version. This one, guys, is called Bottom Banners, and exactly what you think it is. It makes your banners appear at the bottom as opposed to the top. Now, I'm going to attempt to send myself a text message here just to try to get this to happen, but if it don't, we may not get lucky today, so we'll see what happens here. Okay, there we go. And you see I messaged myself Taft, whatever that means. But you can see color banner looks cool. And when you get that bottom banners installed, it sort of floats up toward the top or toward the center of the screen as it disappears. Really cool. But you can customize the distance by going into settings here. And you can change how far or how close to the bottom you may want it by going to bottom banners here. And like a, it's got a slider and you see a fine tuning. Uh, it says if you slide it to the left, it moves it down. You slide it to the right, it moves it up. Then you have to respring. That's called bottom banners. Very, very cool tweak. Okay, guys, last but not least is called lock music. It's 99 cents. And this makes your lock screen music player looks much cleaner and you probably notice it moves the album art to the center and moves all the controls above the album art everything just looks so much cleaner and definitely definitely one worth the 99 cents check it out i think you'll really enjoy it hope you enjoyed this week's top 10 list guys don't forget as always if you aren't a subscriber hit that subscribe button before you go share this video and keep coming back